Hi guys, so today we are going to be learning about learning. So what is learning? Learning is a long-lasting change in behavior resulting from an experience. In this video, the main topics we are going to go over are what is classical conditioning and what is operant conditioning. The first that we are going to go over is classical conditioning. This was first discovered by a Russian scientist named Ivan Pavlov. First, he noticed that the dogs were salivating when they saw the assistant who was feeding them without the presence of food. So he tried ringing a bell every time he fed the dog. Pretty soon, the dog salivated in response to the bell. Therefore, Ivan Pavlov concluded that there were several important parts to classical conditioning. First, there has to be a neutral stimulus. Neutral stimulus does not produce a response by itself. In this case, it was a bell. Unconditioned stimulus produces unconditioned response. Unconditioned stimulus was the food and condition unconditioned stimulus was the salivation. When these two are continuously paired together, it produces a conditioned stimulus. Conditioned stimulus produces conditioned response, which would be salivation in response to the sound of the bell. After this experiment, John Watson did an experiment if the classical conditioning can be applied to human as well. Watson conditioned Albert, which was a little baby boy, to fear right rats. He did, he did this by pairing the loud, scary noise every time Albert was presented with a white rat. This experiment showed that conditioned stimulus can be generalized. Albert also feared any fluffy white things such as a bunny or a white blanket or a Christmas hat. And extinction could happen when conditioned stimulus is no longer paired with unconditioned stimulus repeatedly. And after extinction, spontaneous recovery can sometimes happen which is when condition response suddenly reappears after after it's forgotten. These studies show that animals can learn things by associating a response with certain stimulus. Hey guys, it's Julianne, and I'm going to be teaching you about the second type of learning, which is operant conditioning. And operant conditioning is teaching someone a behavior using punishment and reward. So um, a major person in operant conditioning was B.F. Skinner. And he ran two different experiments. And his first experiment, he used rats inside something called a Skinner box. And he would place the rats, hungry rats, inside the Skinner box. And there would be a lever. And when they discovered the lever, they would press it and food would come out, which would be it. And then they would eventually learn that pressing the lever gave them food, which acted as positive reinforcement. And so once the rat was placed in again, a uh, third, fourth, and fifth time, every time every time it would immediately press the lever to get food. And the operant response is the action of pressing the lever. And the um, re the reward is the food being released inside the chamber. Uh, Skinner's second experiment was he placed a rat inside the chamber, and instead of keeping it hungry, he subjected the chamber to an unpleasant electric current. The rat, having experienced the discomfort, started to desperately move around the box and would accidentally knock the lever. Pressing the lever immediately seized the flow of unpleasant current. After a few times, the rat learned enough to go directly to the lever in order to prevent itself from discomfort. So the, um, the electric current is the negative reinforcement, and pressing the lever would be the positive reinforcement because it would stop. So operant conditioning responds directly to positive and negative reinforcement and also positive punishment and negative pu punishment. Okay, good luck guys on your AP exam and we hope you help we helped you guys with learning.